Hey everyone, my name is Eric Thor and I have a major in communications. Yes, a part of People Plus, I also study communications and I have five hacks that I use to convince people in various life situations. So this is how I do communications. Rule number one, always give an excuse when asking for help. And the reason this is so effective is because if you give somebody an excuse, you've not only shared a personal problem in your life, you've also given them a background to why they should help you. And you've also given them a reason, a chance actually, to be a hero in your personal life by helping you. And as social animals, we can't help but want to help other people. So the next time you want to skip in line, tell people you need to skip in line because you're hungry. It doesn't really matter that everyone else is hungry. They will still want to help you. <laughs> Number two, never give an excuse when apologizing. The fact is, if you give people an excuse, you're actually telling them that if you were in the same situation again, you would redo the mistake. And so, when people hear your excuse, they're thinking to themselves, oh, this is not a real apology. Because what people want is a real apology. They want to hear that you're gonna actively try not to do that mistake again. So how do we convince people with communication? The interesting fact is that people are more likely to agree with you if you listen to them. The reason for this is because knowledge and truth is socially constructed. Even if you believe in objective truth, truth is people are social animals and they will understand truth subjectively. And so, they will believe that the reason that you disagree with them is for social reasons. They will, they will believe that it's because you're not listening to them, or that you're misunderstanding them. And this will get them to feel angry and misunderstood. And really, this is what you don't want if you want good communications. You want people to feel understood. So, rule number four. If you want people to listen to you, agree with them. True it is, it's no problem to agree with people even if you disagree with them. What you can do is, you can say to people that you understand where they're coming from. You can tell people, yeah, I understand your viewpoint. And you can actively try to understand why people are ignorant. Because people always have a good reason to be ignorant. They have an emotional reason to do it. They have an upbringing that tells them to do it. Or they have simply got their facts wrong and if you want to help them you have to work from where they are and so in the end it all bottles down to one simple rule if you want to be good at communicating you have to understand the people that you're communicating to so many people try to debate try to communicate try to argue without actively trying to understand the people they're talking to Truth is, we seem more interested in talking to people who agree with us than people who disagree with us. We want people around us to look around at the person and think, Oh, God, that guy is so smart. And we want the people to see the one we're discussing with as stupid. So to most people, communications all seems to be a game of power, of status. But to me, it's something else. To me, communication should be about reaching out to people, teaching people new things, and learning new pe things by listening to people in return. It's giving and taking. These are my five skills. This is how I communicate. How do you communicate? Please leave a comment and share your experiences of these rules. Have you tried any of these rules? If so, I'd be happy to hear from you. Thank you for watching this video.